Oh, those ones are nice. How much? Five dollars. Five dollar? How do you say the city's name? I always get it confused. I say Nam Pen, Penom Pen. Penom Pen. Penom Pen. Yes. Okay, so it's not Nam Pen. It's Penom Pen. Kiem Surai Surai Kambujia. Kiem Surai Kambujia. Bro, I can't do that one. I can't do it. Where are you from? California. Bro, me too. Yeah. I'm from Long Beach. Okay. Where are you from? Modesto. Modesto. Bro, why why are you out here? Uh, I don't like. America. It's okay. Thank you for Take care, bro. my Cambodia. Of course. <laughs> I love your Cambodia. I love, I love you. Cambodia. How do I say I love Cambodia? Uh, <laughs> Good evening, guys, from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Now, right now, I'm actually standing right alongside the river walk. This here is the, I just read, it's called the Tole Sep River. And on the other side is the Mekong. And it's actually splits between this island here in the middle, where you find like a couple hotels residential buildings. I actually haven't been on that side of the of uh, Nam Pen before, but I would like to go on over there and start exploring. Now there's also all kinds of dinner of uh, dinner boats and river cruises heading out right now because of sunsets. And I have a feeling that I'm actually gonna go out there and do that later on this week. Now today, I just wanna show you guys what the vibes are like. On the weekends, a lot of locals gather along the river bank and you know, hang out, eat, drink. I actually just got done filming a street food video. So I'm just gonna walk around and show you guys the vibes of this place. But yeah, that is the mighty Mekong River that runs through Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. Actually, I'm not sure if it runs in Thailand, but uh, those three countries I'm certain of. So yeah, beautiful place, beautiful vibes. And right here along the side, there's all kinds of vendors and fortune tellers. I think that's what they are. Like ladies that read your fortune with cards and stuff. I would actually like to get that done. I've never done that before, but I have a feeling that none of them are gonna speak English because they are all like older uh, Kamai people. But yeah, look, all kinds of like card readings going on. A lot of people gathering around and just enjoying this beautiful view of the river. But yeah, it's beautiful out here right now and the weather's actually a lot fresh when you're standing near the river because you got the breeze coming from, yeah, from the river. It's very nice. You can actually see how breezy it is based off the flags. Complete diff completely different than where we were just hanging out. Look, you got the ice cream man rolling around. It's beautiful vibes out here though. I really enjoy walking around this riverbed and in the evenings, or late at night I should say it's actually very well lit and it makes for a nice place to walk around but yeah you, look you got some hats being sold sandals ice cream beers there's also a nice little cafe restaurant here actually that looks like a nice place to sit down and enjoy a nice view of the river wow look at all the pigeons and it's quite impressive too you got a mix of just locals and also tourists sitting along this river right now let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this so far, of this view. And there's actually a ferry across the way where I can see cars loading on up to. And I think it, they, it drives them on over to that piece of land, which I'm not sure what that is. But I believe this here, if I'm not mistaken, is part of Phnom Penh. It's actually connected by a bridge a little bit further up the road. But yeah, let's start exploring around here and see what we get into. Looks like right here they got a bunch of like street food, produce being sold lotus flowers for the temples that's what you leave the buddha as an offering well look you have a lady selling more street food from the back of her bike i think they're quail eggs but yeah you'll see as we're walking around here a lot of locals gathering around having like a picnic styled dinner with beers and all kinds of local food it's beautiful to see and that's the beautiful cambodian flag I'm not sure what the other one is for. Maybe it's a Phnom Penh flag. But yeah, it's beautiful as well. Like you got families out here with the kids, you know, feeding the pigeons. Oh, you know what? I actually did this last time. Um, let birds free. But yeah, look at all the birds in the cages. You can actually let them free here as like good luck. But yeah, that's why they're all in the cages. Oh, one is sitting right on top. He's trying to free the, free the homies. <laughs> but yeah, like popcorn. Man, all kinds of fun stuff for the kids. This is definitely like a place you want to come and hang out with your family, with your friends. Not by yourself like me. 
but if you're by yourself then still come on out here and hang out as well look all kinds of fresh snacks sodas drinks beers man i love it it's incredible how they have like the ice how the ice lasts so long without melting in this heat it's crazy but yeah later on this week i would like to get on out onto the river and maybe go out on like a boat tour i think that'd be pretty sick go on out and enjoy a nice sunset on the mekong river wow this is the soup i just got done eating earlier today man it's so delicious but yeah look at these birds but yeah i believe that the reason why um they let them go in the buddhism religion is to um you know prosper or bring prosperity in your life and good luck which is cool i just wonder if those are like captured birds like off the streets or do they actually raise them for that purpose if any of you guys know please let me know down in the comment section man look look at all these toys for kids if i was a kid i'd go crazy here but to be honest i was actually thinking about that yesterday when i was walking through two days ago and i was walking through the mall i was thinking about life and how crazy life was and you know i was walking through the store and i seen some kids and they were actually talking like bro we don't have enough money for that and i remember like what life was like growing up and like you know i didn't have money for anything like me and my family we didn't have extra money for anything so whenever i see you know kids hanging around toys like that and asking their parents to buy them some if their parents can't do it then I'll, i have no problem walking up especially now that i'm blessed enough to be able to do it and buy you know young kids some toys because why not man especially you know, when you're young, you don't know, you, it's, it's hard to relate to the struggle. And I feel like when I was a kid, um, I wasn't like most kids. I actually knew why I couldn't have the things that I wanted. Like, I knew very well that my mom was a single mom, took care of five or four of us. And, you know, there was never any extra money on, to, to spend. Never. If I got toys and stuff like that, it was, you know, during Christmas, during my birthday, my mom saved for those things. So now that I'm in a position to be able to bless others, I, I like to do so when I can. Obviously, I can't do it every day, but when I can, I like to. Wow, that is beautiful. Now, last year when I was here, there was actually a huge ceremony going on here at this temple. And yeah, it was full. Thousands of people out here. Beautiful city though, right guys? I'm trying to tell you, don't sleep on Nam Pen. It's a nice place. Now, I'll be honest with you, if you're coming on out here like as a normal tourist, it's probably nice for about, I want to say, maybe four or five days maximum. Then you need to get out and explore more of Cambodia. But for someone that works online or uh, has a remote job, I should say, man, this could be a nice city to come and spend a few weeks in. I mean, there's all kinds of life out on the streets 24 7 i mean always something going on here like you got a photographer here and yeah a lot of people are going into the temple to drop off their their lotus flowers and they're also burning like an incense of some sort I don't know about you guys man but i really hate pigeons i hate when they're like all around me in every direction and they fly so close to your head makes me uncomfortable all right i don't like pigeons that's my rant about pigeons i like every other bird though does that make me a racist does that can you be racist towards like a bird well if it is then then i am i hate pigeons i absolutely hate them i think they're disgusting but like a ducks, ducks are cute. All right, let's not get distracted now. Let's not start going on a rant about random things, but that's how my brain works. I'm literally just a real piece of work walking around, man. But yeah, beautiful vibes out here in Phnom Penh. And later on today, man, this park is gonna get absolutely crazy. There's gonna be so many things going on, so many vendors. But you know what, let's actually cross the street now and let's see what we can buy. Oh look, there's a sunglass guy. Why not? Let's let's help support some small businesses. Hello, sir. Hello. How much are the glasses? 
let's see. Oh, I like these models. Oh, those ones are nice. How much? Five dollar. Five dollar? Oh, you have watches too? Wallets. These ones are five dollars. Okay. Oh, these are the Audi glasses. These are nice. Okay. And how about the wallets? How much for this one? Eight dollar. Eight dollar? Oh man, that one's expensive, huh? It's leather? Not real leather, huh? Oh, okay. It's nice though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good quality. Okay. Um, you don't have cheaper glasses? No cheaper one? Maybe three dollars? Three dollar glasses? Four dollar, okay. Four dollar, okay? How much is dollar? Four dollars in real? In real? Four dollars. How much? Okay, here, hold hold these. I'll get those from you. Why not? I don't need them, but when I'm traveling places, I like to support the small businesses, man. Okay, I think that's enough. Ten thousand. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much that is. Oh no, that's two dollars. Okay, four dollars, right? There you go. Is that enough? Good? Okay, Akon. Thank you, sir. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, Yo. I, I see you on the internet. Yeah, bro. Yo. For real? What's I'm up, your bro? man. Yo, thank you, man. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Cambodia. But from Phnom Penh? Uh, not yet, yes. I'm from Penh. You're from Phnom Penh? I guess. How do you say the city's name? I always get it confused. I say Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Yes. Okay, so it's not Phnom Penh. It's yeah. Phnom Penh. Yes. Okay, okay. What's your name, bro? Uh, my name is... Tira. Tira. And my peg is from my tribe. <laughs> oh, okay. Go uh, pray, pray. Uh, uh, you say, uh, hello, Cambodia. Hello, Cambodia. How do you say that? Sustre Cambodia. Sustre Cambodia. Sustre Cambodia. Follow me, follow me. Follow me. Phnom Srolang Sre Cambodia. Okay. Uh, one more time, one more time. Phnom Srolang Sre Cambodia. Phnom Srolai Cambodia. Phnom Srolang Sre Cambodia. Kiem Surai Kambuchia. Bro, I can't do that one. I can't do it. <laughs> yes. what, so what are you doing, man? You just got out of school or what? No, no, no. Um, I'm uh, finished uh, university. Uh, oh, so you, you're, you're in university right now? I'm, I'll leave all so, you know, when I free time. A free time. So right now you're just enjoying the day, huh? Yes, yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, you want to walk with me? Yes. Let's walk. Let's walk, bro. Why not? Are you from... So you're born in Phnom Penh? No, no. I'm uh, born at uh, Kampong Kampurabim. Oh, where's that? Uh, uh, maybe uh, 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers north? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's, uh, middle, it's middle in Cambodia. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, in the middle of Cambodia? Yes. So in the middle of Phnom Penh and Siem Reap? In the middle? Oh, uh, yes. yes. Uh, okay. It's in the middle of uh, Kampong Kampurabim. Uh, Kampong Kampurabim. Uh, between uh, Phnom Penh and uh, Siem Reap. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. man. Dude, I love this city. Isn't it such a beautiful place? Yes. What is sure. this? Why is why do they have all of that decorated right now? What? You see, last last year I was here. That wasn't there. Uh, I I, I only uh, speak a little bit, right? I don't know how. You know the decorations over the streets? Is that new? Yes, it is new. It's new, huh? Yeah. It's new, huh? Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Yes. So, what did you study in university? Uh, Cambodia University for a specialty. What? What's your specialty? Yes. <laughs> what is your specialty? A uh, specialty. Specialty. My, my, my university, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I finished uh, maybe around uh, 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 19. No, 19. Oh, 2019. Yes, I'm graduated from university. Okay, but what is your degree in? Uh, major. You're doctor, lawyer. No, I'm manager. engineer. I'm management. But now I'm uh, I'm a uh, uh, tech video uh, upload on the Facebook page. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're making videos. Yes, yeah, make videos. Oh, okay. Also. Cool. You you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> no. Uh, I don't have. I only have like. <laughs> hey, bro! You need to make. You need to make a YouTube, uh, man. Uh, you, you have to make YouTube and Facebook. Yes. Uh, you. Uh, you. Uh, you know about uh, uh, me and uh, my pig. 
me and my pay, uh, can I pay pay, you know? Kai pay pay? Yes, can no. I pay pay. What is kai pay pay? Uh, maybe uh, the same, uh, the same uh, cow, right? The oh, a cow. cow. But, but a black, black then. Uh, buffalo. Yes, buffalo. <laughs> okay. Kai pay pay. Yes, but because I'm a black also. <laughs> oh, you're blind? Yeah. Yes, maybe I, I think I'm black, right? Oh, you're black? Yes. You're saying? Yeah. Ah, I don't. Brown, brown. Yeah, oh, not brown. black, man. Uh, not yeah. black, brown. Yes. Sure. You look like me yes. when I'm in the sun I'm, for a week. I'm like your video because you uh, travel around the world. I see. Thank you, man. I see a, maybe, maybe your video. Bro, thank you, man. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. I appreciate that, bro. Where's your house? Where do you live? Uh, your house? Far? Uh, I, I live uh, next to uh, around uh, uh, airport, right? Airport. Oh, by the airport. Yes. Oh, okay. Airport. So you just came here to walk around. Uh, yes. Enjoy. Yes. Enjoy, enjoy Sunday. Uh, on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. Yes. On Sunday is very busy, huh? Uh, yes. Wow, it's nice. You want something to drink? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, let's. No, no, no. I, I cannot drink. Maybe I stomach ache. Oh, really? <laughs> Why is that? Uh, so. Do you like you like this? You eat that food? Yes, um, maybe uh, uh, sometimes, right? They're snails, right? Yes. Snail. Uh, I don't know what to eat in this. It's delicious though. Yeah, I like uh, it. Yes. It's very uh, nice. Uh, a long time, uh, a long time ago, I uh, I reached your video uh, drink coconut, right? Uh, in uh, same room. <laughs> yeah, bro, dude. <laughs> That video was crazy. Don't, yeah. re don't report my video. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I was like, man, don't report my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, bro, funny you remember that, man. That's crazy. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think is the best part about Cambodia? What is the best part about Cambodia? I for think uh, the part, uh, special part of Cambodia is Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat, uh, yeah, huh? Sim Reap, right? Sim Reap. Yeah, because it's beautiful. How, because how many, many temples. Yeah. Yes. And it's special. Yes, yeah, special. There's no other place in the world like yeah. Seam Reap. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah I agree but, with you. Uh, no, around the world? You say around the world or uh, only Cam No, uh, in Cambodia, Cambodia uh, like Seam Reap, Anchor Wat, there's nowhere in the world that yeah, has a place like uh, that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, I think uh, uh, the, around the world, I like uh, Japan, right? Japan, yeah, yeah. Japan's nice, it helps, man. It uh, helps a lot of many many girls <laughs> yeah many girls bro you like the japanese ladies you don't like cambodian girls uh, yes. you don't like cambodian yeah girls? yeah but i, I just want to <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough yeah he likes the japanese ladies yeah you like the white girls yeah <laughs> you like white girls huh yeah. uh, you don't like you don't like brown girls you like white girls no i never think i never think you like everything yes I like you, bro. You're a man of flavor, bro. You gotta, you gotta experiment with everything. Uh, every, every color woman is beautiful. Uh, could I have some? Uh, ask you some questions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's do it. Do you have a, a wife? A wife? Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a girlfriend. Uh, only girlfriend. Yeah. You, you come from uh, Los Angeles or? Los Angeles. Yeah. Yes. I, I watch your many your video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los uh, Angeles, man. And. How long have you been here? Yes. How long have you been here? Uh, I'm living here. Yeah, how yeah. long? Uh, when did you move from the middle of the country to here? Uh, 2000. Uh, 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 I live, uh, it started to uh, 2016. Uh, uh, 2016? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, when I continue uh, university, I finished uh, maybe. Uh, so you went to high school in your village? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool, man. Dude, I want to go out on one of these boats this week. One of these. Where does the boat go, you know? Where do they take you on the boat? Yes. I can take. You You can take? Yeah, I want to. Yeah. I want to go. Yeah, I'm also... Now, I want... Uh, today, I want to relax because uh, many, many uh, stress for me. Many <laughs> stress, huh? <laughs> well, let's, let's go on the boat this week. Yes. We'll do it this week. I'll give you my 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 Instagram, my, uh, and you send me a message, and we go to the boats. <laughs> All right? Okay, okay. Why not? Uh, I, what is your favorite Cambodian food? Uh, oh man, what is he doing? 
know, uh, for what? <laughs> I never, I never seen that before, bro. <laughs> I like prohok, prohok, prohok chicharam, prohok chicharam. yes. What is that? Spicy uh, food or no? Like noodles? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, fish. Uh, uh, I, I, I cannot. Oh, it's the fish that, that turns like this. No, 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 it's grilled. This grilled fish. Oh yeah, the one I'm talking about is grilled fish. Okay. All right. This here is Riverside Park, huh? Yes. This place is beautiful, man. It's gorgeous out here. Uh, what is this, bro? Is that a temple? Yes, a temple. Uh, a temple. Uh, Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Temple or not loud. Oh, temple not loud. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Yes. Dude, it's beautiful. I like this place. And then right here, you got two soldiers on a horse. When I start uh, university, I, I stay here. I stay here. To sleep? Yes. Oh, wow. You can sleep inside the temple? Yes. <laughs> crazy. A long time ago, I, I am a monk. Oh, but you were a monk? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You were a monk? Yes. For how many years? Uh, I am uh, six years. Six years as a monk? Yes. So what, in order to be a monk, what do you have to do? Uh, maybe... Uh, difficult for this describe is uh, maybe 30 boy 30 boy who because uh, uh, the law in the uh, in uh, uh, Buddhism is very very difficult for, for to understand yeah yes yeah. uh, yes uh, when I finish university I live in the month okay yes. cool man interesting interesting yeah. wow look yeah, at these roller you skaters there you go you go go straight or? yeah 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 I'm going straight are yeah, you yeah. going that way yeah uh Yes. Okay, uh, well send me a message yes. on Instagram. Yes. Message me. I, and we and we go on a boat. I invite you. Uh, yeah. yeah, message yes. me. Well, thank you. Nice You're welcome, you. bro. Thank you. Yeah. Nice talking to you. I'm so fantasy today. I'm with uh, my idol. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Yes. Hey, send me a message on Instagram and we go on the boat. I invite you, okay? Uh, I chat uh, to my page. You, you can, can you reply? Yeah, I reply to you uh, yes. today. Re send me a message right now and I reply to you. Okay. okay. Wow, look at these okay. roller skaters or roller bladers, I guess you call them. Can you do it? Uh, Ooh. I, I forgot your, your page. Yeah, here. Let me give it to you real quick. This is Facebook? Yes. Oh, you better follow, man. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't following me on Facebook. Oh. Cool, bro. Yeah, send me a message. But, uh, it's the new Facebook, right? Huh? I think I got something, bro. There you go, man. You found me? There you go, man. There's 2,000. Oh, what you carrying, bro? Um, pretty sure it's uh, they call Terra. Terra. Yeah, Terra. Oh, you're delivering it for somebody? No, it's on it to recycling. Oh, okay, okay. Recycling centers. Hella far, huh? Where are you from? California. Bro, me too. Yeah. I'm from Long Beach. Okay. Where are you from? Modesto. Modesto. Bro, why, why are you out here? Uh, I don't like America. Yeah, you're, yeah, I feel it. You're trying to get out of there, huh? Yeah. Here, bro, here's another dozen. Thanks. Yeah, bro, I hope everything goes good for you, man. You too. I feel it, though. I'm trying to get the hell out of there, too, man. Yeah. It's just stupid. Bro, it's stupid. Yeah. Like the U.S. is going it, down, bro. Yeah. It's going down, man. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Dude, take care of yourself. That seems heavy. No, definitely not. But he's carried really far, see? Let me try that. Oh, yeah, but damn, dude, but <laughs> every, even walking with nothing it. on your yeah, back yeah. here is hot. I've carried it from Diamond Island. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's that's heavy, bro. Yeah. Well, I wish you a good a good day, bro. Yeah. But no, it's, uh, if it, it was heavy, it'd be metal. Yeah. And I would have sold it already, like, cheap, but... The lady over there by Diamond Island wanted to give me metal price. It's only a thousand mil per kilo. And I know it's not metal. It's too light. So uh. it's probably Dara or aluminum, which is like three or four thousand mil a kilo. So where are you going? To a recycling center right here? Yeah. Okay. Where I know them, but they're not going to try and cheat me. Yeah, man. Well, shit, bro. Have a good day, man. All right. Wish you a good one. Yo, bro. I chat, I chat already. Oh, you sent me a message. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll reply to you yes. in a bit, okay? Thank you for Take care, bro. my Cambodia. Of course. <laughs> I love your Cambodia. I, I love you, Cambodia. How do I say I love Cambodia? 
Uh, nhóm sờ lạnh Campuchia. What? Nhóm sờ lạnh Campuchia is mean. Khu nhóm sờ lạnh. Nhóm sờ lạnh Campuchia. Khu nhóm. Khu nhóm sờ lạnh. Khu nhóm sờ lạnh Campuchia. Campuchia. Cambodia. Yeah. Kingdom of the wonder. Yeah, kingdom of the wonder. kingdom of the wonder, man. Yeah. All right, send me. I'm gonna I'm message you back. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, later, bro. Bye, guys. Ooh, bro, sick moves. I like that. Rollerblading is so sick to see. Yeah, man. So I don't know what that guy was with the propane tank on his back, man. You be running into some strange characters out here in Asia. I've been meeting people in Thailand that they're like from California and they're literally living off of like two dollars a day, just trying to not go back home. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Like. But then everybody gets their own struggle, their own different reality that they're living in. And then another common reality that I found here in Cambodia last time that I was here was that there was actually a lot of Cambodian American people that, you know, their family or them immigrated to the U.S. when they were very young. And unfortunately, they got in trouble with the law and have now been deported back here. But that guy was didn't look like he was any bit of Cambodian. But yeah, man, to be walking around with a big jug trying to make what is three thousand per kilo. 75 cents per kilo of aluminum bro i would have gone back home and just worked you know what i mean we're blessed we come from a country where you can go and make some good ass money and take that money and go anywhere else in the world and you know live good for a while but yeah to each his own but yeah i definitely agree with him i am not a fan of california in fact it is my least favorite place in the world and i tell people that all of the time and every time i go back the city is the country i mean the state is just going downhill further and further it's filthy on the streets the amount of like street food vendors and people selling clothing on the street is incredible like our it's starting to look a whole lot more like a country south of the border than it is california which is unfortunately sad because that's not the way the united states should be it shouldn't be filled with just street food stalls absolutely everywhere people selling clothes um all kinds of uh, construction equipment right out the front of their yards like it shouldn't be that way that's not what any first world nation looks like let alone what the united states should look like but we're not about to talk politics here in this video just know that's why me i call the world my home because i am tired of everything that's going on back at home i can't do it no more i'm tired of paying ridiculous prices for rent ridiculous prices just to throw away the trash every month like it's it's getting ridiculous and I hate that, you know, everybody else that I know, my friend group and my family group who don't work a day in their life and haven't worked, receive like, you know, crazy monthly pensions from the government that, you know, and, and they still complain that they can't have enough or that they don't get more instead of actually like working. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody's case because like I said, I grew up with a single mom, but I grew up with a single mom and guess what? Every time she tried to apply for food stamps, apply for anything, they told her that she made way more than uh, she made above like 30000 a year. That was like the threshold to qualify for a food stamp. So even though she was a single mom working 50 hours a week, sometimes 60, to try and feed all of us, we never got shit. So, um, And then right now, this is a huge ass rant, but this is how I feel right now. But then um, you go to the grocery stores in the U.S. and there's people outside selling like $300 in food stamps for $100 in cash just so that they can go get high. And these people get food stamps all the time. So, dude, there's all kinds of different realities. I personally, though, I think that that's why so many people, they're out of it. They're out of there. They're done with California. They don't want nothing to do with it no more. And I can't blame them. It's really not the best place in the world to live, to raise a family, to do anything. It's a good place to live if you want to just bury yourself in taxes. Perfect place to live. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I feel like we got in a bunch of random little rants today. Who knows if this video is going to even be published? I had other goals in mind, but yeah, it was nice walking around with our new friend and hopefully he responds to me and wants to come on out on a river boat cruise with me this week. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, look, they got the bar active on that one. Yeah, this looks nice. I'm definitely doing it this week. So see you guys again soon for another video from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Later, guys. You were always smarter. I was the one to tag the